Let's look at a sovereignty displacement analysis for Taiwan. In 1895, Taiwan was ceded to Japan by Jing China. On October 25, 1945, the Japanese surrender ceremonies were held in Taipei. On April 28, 1952, the San Francisco Peace Treaty came into force. Today, we need to understand what the current situation is. Historically speaking, from the mid-1890s to the present, a discussion of sovereignty over Taiwan territory must deal with Qing China, Japan, and the United States. Fundamentally speaking, these are three countries, and we will have a separate column to examine the situation for each one. In other words, we will have three columns in total. Sovereignty over territory has two components. The first component is the exercise of control, which we will illustrate in the left part of each column. The second component is the legal ownership, which we will illustrate in the right part of each column. Let's look at column one. On May 8, 1895, the sovereignty of the Qing Dynasty over Taiwan ends. So, in regard to both the exercise of control and the legal ownership, there is a sovereignty displacement out. This is labeled as D1. Let's look at column two. On the same date, May 8, 1895, the sovereignty of Japan over Taiwan begins. So, in regard to both the exercise of control and the legal ownership, there is a sovereignty displacement in. This is labeled as D2. Furthermore, we should note that, while Japan's exercise of control over Taiwan ends on October 25, 1945, its legal ownership has not changed on that date. This is an important fact that is completely misinterpreted by many researchers who deal with Taiwan. In regard to the disposition of territory, it is important to note that treaty specifications can cause a displacement of both the exercise of control and the legal ownership components of sovereignty. For Taiwan, both components of sovereignty have been displaced as a result of the specifications of their 1895 treaty. Next, we must consider the effect of military conquest on sovereignty. Military conquest is followed by military occupation. A firm rule of international law says that military occupation does not transfer sovereignty. However, military conquest and its ensuing military occupation do affect a displacement of the exercise of control component of sovereignty. Let's look at column three. With the Japanese surrender ceremonies on October 25, 1945, the United States conquest of Taiwan has become a fact. The conqueror is the principal occupying power, so the exercise of control by the United States military government over Taiwan begins. So for the United States, this is a sovereignty displacement in. This is labeled as D3. Now let's look back at column two. With the coming into force of the San Francisco Peace Treaty on April 28, 1952, the legal ownership by Japan over Taiwan has ended. So for Japan, this is a sovereignty displacement out. This is labeled as D4. So after overviewing these four displacements of sovereignty over Taiwan territory during the last 125 years, what is our conclusion? Our conclusion must be that, legally speaking, the exercise of control by the United States military authorities has continued up to the present day. Of course, as we should realize, the United States military government has delegated this exercise of control to the Chinese nationalists who call themselves the Republic of China. Nevertheless, in the current era, the legal ownership component of sovereignty over Taiwan is still undetermined.